Hey guys, Captain Keith Morrison here with The Speckled Truth. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about one of my favorite techniques to use for big trout during the winter time. Uh, some very popular swim baits. Um, I've begun using swim baits over the past few years and found them extremely effective. There's a variety of different ways you can fish them, but the particular method that I wanted to show you guys how I've been rigging is the Line 3 swim bait. Um, it was popularized, I believe, by Ot Defoe in the bass fishing world and uh, has been, there's lots of variations on how to rig a line through swim bait. This particular method was shown by, uh, shown to me by my good friend Joshua Lim in Pensacola. Uh, he and I used it together and have had a lot of success. Um, so there's not much you need. Really, you need a pack of rivets. Um, these ones are one eighth outside diameter and a half inch rivet, I guess. Um, and then nail weights. These ones were made by Laser Sharp. I've also got a little bit heavier um, Nico weights by VMC. And lastly, you're gonna need a treble hook. So, all you gotta do is take any swim bait that you like. The particular ones that I have here today are just the Bass Pro brand, and, um, nothing special. Um, they just have a good, nice paddle tail, which I like very much. Um, I've been using the Kitek brand as well, but I just got these the other day. Bass Pro is right down this house from me. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, once you've got your swim bait, is take your rivet. This is how it comes out of the package. and then. You'll knock this center pin out with a pair of pliers. Um, I've already done that myself, so here's what you're going to be left with, is that little cap right there. So you'll take that cap, and you'll take this swim bait here, and I like to use a small screwdriver like this. Um, now as you can see, on the head of the swim bait, you have a little gap here between the nose and where the ribs start. So I've found that this rivet, let me move these. This rivet is about the perfect length to go from the nose to this first rib. So what I do is take this screwdriver and poke it from the nose first. And I'm gonna come right up the center line, come out even with or just in front of the very first rib. And then I usually just put this rivet on here and I'll just slide the bait all the way back up. And you're left with this. I know it's, it looks a little bit ugly um, with the line kind of going diagonal rather than straight into the bait, but trust me, it works phenomenally well. Um, plus this rivet will stay in there. Um, you can turn the rivet the other way and put it where the big part is through the nose. But I found that quite often the rivet will slide out of the bait after you've caught a few fish and this plastic becomes weaker. Um, it'll hold in there a whole lot longer um, this way that I've done it here. Um, Josh and I experimented a lot with that and seems to be the uh, most effective way and most durable way. So after that, what you're gonna want is to take one of your nail weights. These are this is 1 16th ounce nail weight. Um, I think this is a laser sharp, but lots of different companies make them. You got that. And you're gonna take, in these particular swim baits, you have a small little ridge up underneath the belly. Um, that kind of tells you right about the center mass of the body. So I take my screwdriver again and go up to the front edge of that little um, line. And I just poke a hole into it straight into it, about a one inch hole. And then I'll take this and slide it straight in there. You can push it up in there. And now what you've got is a swim bait with a kill weight to give it a little weight to get down um, or to let it, um, or make sure that it always swims right side up. I actually push this one a little far there. And simple as that. Lastly, um, and I've got some 60 pound high vis just for this, is 
cut this tag in off. When you run your line through here, so you got to do is run your line straight through there. And I typically just use a loop knot to a nice little treble hook. I love these unfair lures. Treble hooks are awesome. The PVR turbo set. And it's going to hang just like that. And as you reel this in, I personally let my treble hook hang freely. However, a lot of guys will take it and run it up into the belly like that, or you know any other variety. I mean, I know people that will pull it back a little further. Uh, it's personal preference, but however you like and however you think is most effective. Um, if you're fishing around really snaggy rocks, I wouldn't maybe let it hang. But anyways, this has been highly successful for me over the past few years. Um, ever since I began experimenting with it and working with swim baits, I've caught lots and lots of big, big specs that I wouldn't, that I don't think I would have caught if I were using something different. Um, it was a bit of a learning curve to figure out when to throw these and where and why. Um, which I'll cover a little bit more in an article that I'm working on. But um, anyways, that's the gist of it. A basic line through swim bait. Um, you really need to try this if you haven't. They're extremely effective. One of the big perks is when you do hook a big trout and you get that big bite and you have fish come up from behind, when they're shaking and thrashing on the surface and they got that treble hook in their mouth, this bait is clear out of their mouth and when their head is shaking down here, the spade just runs up the line, it gets the plastic out of the mouth, and you're almost always going to have a solid hook set. Um, I don't lose very many fish when they eat this. So um, it's a confident spade for me, especially during the winter time. This is one bait that when I tie it on mid-November, it won't come untied until around mid-March. It stays on. I go through tons of them. It's a tremendous bait. Uh, ever since my buddy Josh uh, shared with me how he'd been using it, um, yeah, it's it's awesome. So I hope you take this, and I hope it works for you. And thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Tight lines.